Modernism Week is in full swing and it continues to attract tens of thousands of visitors to the Coachella Valley. News Channel 3's Bianca Ventura traveled to different events in Palm Springs for a look at this year's Modernism Week. She is live in studio tonight. Bianca, things, uh, this really brings a lot of people into the Coachella Valley. It really does, John, and Modernism Week first started out in 2006 as a small vintage show with about 10,000 people. And event organizers recorded about 160,000 attendees last year, and they're expecting a larger turnout this year. They're also continuing to add new additions, like a tribute to Motown. Yeah. Keeping history alive. That's exactly what Modernism Week has been doing since 2006. Year after year, thousands of people come to the Coachella Valley to experience Modernism Week and check out homes like these. Let's see what's inside. Palm Springs continues to attract visitors from throughout the world because of its collection of mid-century homes like this one. The Oasis home was one of this year's featured models. And this house was built in 1965 and uh, it was built by one of the people who designed the whole neighborhood of Indian Canyons. Visitors throughout the U.S. and dozens of countries travel to the Coachella Valley just to take in the architecture. You know, the seamless indoor-outdoor living, you know, the huge panes of glass, um, vivid use of color. The Flannery Exchange off of North Palm Canyon Drive hosted a Mad Men-themed party, giving guests a taste of decades past. This building was actually uh, constructed in the early 80s, but when it was reconstructed by us in 2019 and 20, the, uh, the inspiration was mid-century to try and make this uh, building uh, leave the 80s and go back to the 60s. Erica Flannery, owner of Café La Jefa, says all the visitors in town helped her make record sales this weekend. Yeah. Highest sales by like another 30% yes. ever. As for what's new this year, the Modernism Week committee included an homage to black history. They decided to add this element to modernism with the Motown and just showing that, you know, uh, American history of black history during the modernism period. Keisha D, an honored vocalist in the Coachella Valley, shares that soul music and Motown are markers of modernism. It kept a whole nation dancing on their feet, and in, even in times of crisis or war. From the homes to the parties, the art and the entertainment, Modernism Week continues to captivate thousands. And if you haven't checked out the fun yet, you still have time. Modernism Week runs until this Sunday, and you can head to KESQ.com for more details. Live in studio, Bianca Ventura, News Channel 3.